A $5 million budget cut. That's what Second Harvest Food Bank will face if the 2025 Dane County budget remains as is. Tomorrow night, the budget goes to the board for approval. WMTV's Marcus Arzval shares why the food bank is hoping Dane County board members change their minds. Marcus, not much time left. This is the first year American Rescue Plan Act money for pandemic relief is not on the table. And that's where the two organizations have different opinions on how to spend the remaining funds. As ARPA funds cease to exist, so does the money Second Harvest Food Bank relies on from Dane County to finance its farm to food bank initiative. Zero is is too big a blow for everyone. Second Harvest President and Executive Director Michelle Orgay is hoping the Dane County Board will now use a portion of its budget to help feed hungry families. This is food that stays that comes from our community, stays in our community, it helps the local economy and we're we're really worried about what this is going to mean in an email to WMTV. The county says under a state statute about government spending, they're not allowed to allocate more money to the food bank yeah. without this five million farm to food banks. Future is uncertain. We have sought additional funding. We have looked for private funds. We have we have shored this up as much as we can with other funds, but it's never going to be at the level that that, that Dane County can help us with. Orgate worries this goes beyond the food bank itself. She says since the pandemic, the need is even greater. This year, they've distributed 42% more food than last year. We've really appreciated the support of, of Dane County. This isn't about a lack of gratitude. This is about a huge concern with with how the folks in Dane County are going to continue to put food on the tables. Second Harvest says you at home can help by contacting your Dane County board reps. You can also support local food banks and pantries. I reached out to the county board, but they were not able to speak on camera tonight. Live in the studio, Marcus Sarsvold, WMTV 15 News.